your day is going great. All right, so today's video is going to be a, another dollar store haul. I did one of these about like a month ago. A lot of you guys seem to like it, and I feel like the dollar store I go to is like a pretty good one. Like, I feel like there's a lot of good stuff there. So the dollar store is kind of far away from me, and I don't have a car, so I don't really go there that often. So when I do go, I kind of like to get a lot of stuff. And because I'm a YouTuber, I picked up a ton of DIY supplies. So if you're into DIYs, this might be pretty interesting. So give this video a thumbs up if you have a thumb, and let's get into it. First bag. So I'm just going to be pulling out things randomly. At my dollar store, we have a ton of canvases, so I got another one. I picked up this wooden frame for $3 because I had like a spring DIY in mind. I got some Kinder Eggs because I like grew up on Kinder Eggs. I think they're very fun, and because Easter is coming up, I thought that I could do like some sort of like Kinder Egg challenge or like opening them and trying out the toys. I don't know. I thought that it would be fun. And then I also got this cardboard box to DIY. Some pipe cleaners because I saw this bag here and it's like seriously packed with so many and I thought that it was a pretty good deal. This bin is kind of getting washed out on camera but in person it's like a very pretty purple color and this was $1.50 and again I thought because spring is coming. This pail was $2 and I just feel like it looks really good on camera and I was kind of walking around the aisles and I had some ideas pop into my head when I saw this. A makeup sharpener because I literally cannot find mine and therefore I cannot use my pencil eyeliners. Gotta have some toothpaste. And then the last thing in bag number one are these chocolate covered pomegranates. And these are pretty good. Like I think I saw them for the first time maybe a year or two ago. They're normally a little bit more expensive. So I thought that $2 for this like little bag was a pretty good price. On to bag number two. Big flowers are great for spring DIYs and they had like quite the selection there. Some white acrylic paint. Two of these mini buckets. I just feel like there's so many different things you could do with these. And they were $1.25 each. Whenever I'm at the dollar store or the grocery store, I always pick up this gum. It's my favorite because it whitens your teeth, but it also tastes like bubble gum. And then I got this bigger pail, which does say Corona on the side, but I feel like I could kind of DIY and put something over it. I got another one of these wood plaques because they are only $2.50, and I just feel like they are so good for DIYs. And if you were to go to an actual craft store, these are like 10 bucks. Some more fake flowers. I got some alphabet stickers. I just kind of thought that these ones were different and cute. They are pink and gold. And then I got some watermelon stickers because I figure, you know, summer is coming up. And it's just totally a necessity. I got some cake mix because it's always cheaper at the dollar store. And then I got this People magazine because I want a magazine that I can cut up and stuff like that. And I just found that the pages on this was really good quality and I thought that maybe I could even like cut out some fashion outfits. So on to the next bag, I got these two different wrapping papers. I thought this one was a really pretty color for this time of year and then I just got white because I feel like it's very versatile. Here are some styrofoam balls and these are a lot cheaper at the dollar store than at a craft store and I've never really seen these at my dollar store before so I thought it'd be a good idea to pick them up for DIYs. Some bubble wrap. I got these fake eggs to paint in some sort of Easter video that I will do. They had these cardboard looking tags for $1.25 which I think that's a pretty good deal. And then I got this plaque for some sort of spring DIY. I got one of these circular cardboard boxes for $1.25. And then I saw this EOS hand lotion there for $2 and I thought that I couldn't go wrong because I haven't tried this out before and I'm also running out of my hand lotion. And now we're on to the last bag and I seriously cannot believe it because <laughs> this was like a humongous haul. I got some Lysol because it's always super cheap at the dollar store and you seriously cannot go wrong with this. Acrylic paint is super cheap at the dollar store so we wanted to kind of stock up. I got black because I do not have that one. And then I also got a green, a pink, and a blue. I got this clear mason jar with a handle that was only $1.25 25 and I just feel like it'd be good for drinking water or a smoothie or anything like that. And then I got three of these mini pots which I feel like is just perfect for the springtime especially because I got that acrylic paint and it was only $1.50 for three of them. believe that this video is done because I just feel like there was so much stuff but yeah because I'm a youtuber I do do kind of like a decent amount of DIY stuff and it's just better to get that kind of stuff at the dollar store as opposed to Michaels or something like that because it is way more expensive so let me know in the comments down below which was your favorite thing that I got from this haul or also let me know if you want me to do more hauls or specifically dollar store hauls all right so I will see you guys in the next one bye